hi guys welcome back to our youtube channel hollywood actress tony abraham has cleared the year over the alleged first relationship with funky akideli below in a recent radio chat the mother of one says she has nothing against funky akideli as they are colleagues without any grudges against each other she said in her words and i quote she's my senior colleague and she's someone i respect a lot so i don't know what people are talking about you know, a lot of people don't understand that we are colleagues not family so you cannot be talking to all your colleagues she said we talk we follow each other if i see i agree her, but a lot of people do not understand that we are working in the same industry and you don't have to be my friend just forget about social media forget social media abraham's comments may be connected to a recent social media outburst by yabo jova 13 posts made by cinema pointers to criticize toy abraham's movie toy abraham has finally addressed the passive beef between herself and her colleague funke according to the mother of one they don't have a problem with each other and are simply colleagues who are not close this comes a couple of days after yabo accuses a movie review page of getting paid by Akindele to rubbish Abraham's new movie, The Ghost and the Tao 2. It appears that all is smooth sailing between Hollywood star Tony Abraham and Fuki Akindele. Abraham recently granted an interview, as mentioned earlier, in which she was asked about the rumor beef between herself and her senior colleague Akindele. In respect, he, she answered, speaking on the issue, Abraham debunked the rumor, urging people to disregard the things they hear on social media. According to her, while she respects Akindele, Akindele as a senior colleague, they are not necessarily friends, even though she greets Akindele wherever they meet. This was to mention concerning the beef between the two of them that is Funke Akindele and Toy Abraham herself. She says she's my senior colleague and someone I respect a lot and one of the few I look up to. So I don't know what people are talking about, trust me. But sometimes people don't understand that we are colleagues, not family, so you cannot be talking ab to all your colleagues. We talk, we follow each other online. A lot of people don't understand that because we work in the same place, we have to be friends. When I see her, I greet her. Trust me, forget social media. This was Toyin's comment, as mentioned earlier, concerning the interview she had on radio in respect to the beef that is between herself and Funke Akideli. The video, which has since gone viral, sparked reaction online, many of whom have dragged another actress, Yabo Ojo, following a recent attack on Akindele. The internet was almost set ablaze on the 6th of September. After Funke Akindele and Tony Abraham planned to release the movie on the same date, Funke Akindele kind of confirmed the rumor rivalry after she picked the same date, September 10th, as the Netflix release date of her record breaking movie, Omogeto the Saga. Well, both actresses and producers usually shun each other on social media during birthdays, wedding anniversary, premiere, and other celebration. The outstanding actresses who have been feuding and refusing to attend each other's movie premiere and other events began the their acting careers in Yoruba movie industry have made their marks on the silver screen in recent years. When it comes to interpreting movie scripts to the letters, they are agreeably no pushovers. Even after Tony Abraham recently released a sequel to her one movie, The Ghost and the Tout 2, which premiered on the 9th of September 5th, 2021, ahead of its official release date, slated for September 10, 2021, Fuki Akidele also announced the release of her Omogeto the Saga movie on Netflix. This move Anger Toy Abrams fan will believe Funke Akedele did it on purpose to reduce the rating and sales of Toy Abrams The Ghost and the Tao 2. To make matter worse, popular Instagram acclaimed movie review Cinema Point as rubbish Toy in movie and in same post advised our followers to sit at home and watch Funke's movie via Netflix instead. The post generated a lot of reactions and backlash from Nigerian celebrities and fans. Yabo Ojo publicly accused Funke of paying the blogger to pull down Toy. With the continuous review post on social media by Tony. The question on everyone lips is Can Tony Abraham beat Funke Box Office record? This was a question on everybody's lips. Well, after Tony Abraham granted an interview, radio interview specifically, and spoke about the beef between herself and Funke Akidele, some of, of the speculations that Tony Abraham threw Yabojo under the bus as Yabojo took sides with Tony Abraham over a movie which was criticized by cinema pointers and had also had advised viewers to stay at home and watch Omogeto the Saga, which was produced by Funke Akidele herself. Nollywood actress Tony Abraham has reacted to speculations that she mocked her colleague Yabo Ojo after debunking beef with Funke Akidele. Well, as earlier stated that Tony Abraham debunked having an issue with Funke Akidele, stating that the mother of two is among the people she respects in the Nollywood industry. Tony Abraham added Funke 
get is our senior colleague i should respect her so much still many people always make mistakes between family friends colleagues and cannot be friends with everyone the statement generated reactions from netizens who mocked and slammed the abojo for picking a fight with funky akidele on behalf of tony abraham reacting to this tony abraham in a post shared on her instagram page said the video interview making the rounds on social media was done prior to the ghost and the tattoo before it was released in the cinema according to tony abraham she reacted to the question with a twist and bent to suit the reaction narrative as some things are better left unsaid and her stance remained the same tony abraham added that she was not reacting to the beef with funky akideli or throwing yabo ojo under the bus she wrote and i quote i just saw an interview i did few weeks ago with twist and bent to suit narratives of reactions some things are better left unsaid that was my stand then and now so for avoidance of doubt this said interview was done before the ghost and the tower to hit the cinema i'm not reacting to anything or throwing anyone under the bus we look forward no backward we move thank you guys yabo ojo first press wrote and added a comment on that the post that was made by tony abraham she said nothing do you jerry kole you want we move this was tony abraham's post on instagram and yabo joe reacting to people saying that she's picking a fight with funky akidele on behalf of tony and this is actually none of her business and now tony has thrown her under the bus but she said tony specifically that she's not throwing anyone under the bus and she's not reacting to anything and everybody is cool and fine that being said they move recalling in 2020 that reports which made rounds suggested that Tony Abraham has replaced Funke Akidele as NCDC and Ben Sedo because the later flouted the regulation that is Funke Akidele and her husband flouted the regulation of having a social gathering which is not more than 20 persons and they were uh, persecuted for that Tony Abraham also came out to debunk the claim stating that she supported campaigns against covid19 but that she isn't an ambassador for nigerian center for disease control the mom of one says she doesn't like the narratives where she portrays as trying to take advantage of a bad situation she wrote in her words and i quote it has just been brought to my attention that blogs are reporting that i'm now ncdc ambassador implying that i have been used to replace a senior colleague that line of thought necessitates i put this out there i'm not an ambassador to ncdc i do not like the narrative that i am trying to take advantage of a bad situation please i I support the campaign against COVID-19. I appear on the video campaign against the pandemic. But please, let's not drag anyone down. Thank you. Signed, Tony Abraham. Well, guys, there's one thing that remains constant here, which is Tony Abraham seeing Funke Akidele as a senior colleague and someone that she respects a lot and always coming out to debunk whatever rumor that is stated between the two of them. Well, in all in all, Funke Akidele has never commented to old post or new or recent post concerning herself having any rift between herself or any other nollywood actor or actress online well guys there you have it do not forget to like subscribe and drop your comment in the comment section below thank you bye